Let's talk about the Wheatstone Bridge. So, what is the Wheatstone Bridge? It is a complex network of multiple resistance and it is using Kirchhoff's law. Wheatstone Network consists of a resistance of P, Q, R and S connected to form a closed path with a galvanometer inside. A cell of EM of E is connected between points A and C. The current I from the cell is divided into I1, I2, I3 and I4. It is subdivided into four branches and converted into multiple currents. The current through the galvanometer is IG and the resistance of the galvanometer is G. Applying Kirchhoff's law at junction B. So this is coming inside. So I1 going out minus IG minus I3. So I1 minus IG minus I3 is equal to 0 at junction B. Applying Kirchhoff's law for the junction D, this is coming in, coming in, going out. So I2 plus IG minus I4 is equal to 0. Applying Kirchhoff's voltage law to the closed path A, B, D, A. So I1 into P is in the clockwise direction. Ig into G plus because in the clockwise direction. This one is in anti-clockwise direction minus I2 into R. So I1 into P plus Ig into G minus I2 into R is equal to 0. Considering I got a closed path of A, B, C, D, A. We will be getting I1 into P, I3 into Q minus I4 into S minus I2 into R is equal to 0. This is Kirchhoff's voltage second, volt, second law. It's voltage law. If the galvanometer shows a zero deflection, the points B and D is of same potential. So IG is equal to 0. Substituting Ig equal to 0 in equation 1 and 2 will be getting I1 minus will become plus here. So plus I3, I1 equal to I3. I2 minus I4 become plus I4 here. I2 equal to I4. And we got the third equation as I1P plus Ig. So I1P is equal to I2R. So these are the three equations formed. Substituting all these conditions uh, in equation 4, we will be getting I1, substituting I3 by I1 and I, I2, I4 by I2. We will be getting I1P plus I1Q minus I2S minus I2R is equal to 0. So moving this one, these things into the right side it will become positive. So taking I1 out, I1 into P plus Q is equal to I2 into P plus R. 